is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a topic that I must discuss with you guys, and I want to know if I'm accurate. Is this accurate to you? Is this accurate to anything in your area, man? Let me know down in the comment section below, because, bro, if you guys missed our Toy Hunter myth, uh, yeah. If you guys missed our toy hunt from yesterday, definitely go check that out. But today, man, I wanted to dive into a discussion that it just seems so accurate to me because every single one of these stores that I go to, it seems like the stock is like identical across the waves. And we're going to get into that right now. So let's dive into it. So what I wanted to discuss today, guys, is just every single time that I go to a Target Supercenter, a Target store, I walk in there, I go on my toy hunt, I'm trying to find brand new WWE figures, and I'd say this has probably been the same for about the last couple months at least, maybe the last three months. There's like the same stock of 10, I'd say to about 20 figures depending on the area, depending on these different things. There is the same stock of the exact figures at every single store. It, it never fails. It never freaking fails, man. I could tell you, before I go into a Target store, I can give you at least 5 to 10 of the figures that will be there for sure. And I'm going to cover that in this video as well as just talk about maybe why that is and just, you know, rant a little bit about it and talk about it. And I know that some people would probably say that it's just, we should just be grateful for these figures. I am grateful to have figures on the pegs. That's not really what I'm saying. It's just the same ones over and over. Like, I know some people struggle with the, you know, like exclusives and different things like that. I know people from the UK and different countries and things like that. They don't have the same access to the figures without paying a hefty premium price or like these crazy shipping prices and stuff. So I definitely feel you on that man i hate that that is the case maybe someday in the future it'll be a lot easier to get these figures and the shipping won't be insane and like it'll be or, or somebody will will create a way for you know uh international collectors to get their hands on these figures because there's no reason that you should be paying 80 dollars for just a single figure that you want man and if you want that figure and you want to do some photography or you want to do a pick fed or you want to do any of these things it's insane to think that you have to pay these crazy prices so i hate that for you but this is just something that i guess maybe some u.s collectors can relate to and you guys can just chime in on this if you want to but before I go into Target I can tell you exactly what figures are going to be on the pegs man I feel like this recent top picks wave the top talents wave that has Rey Mysterio, Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns and John Cena now this set I thought was a pretty good set like I think as a whole really good Drew McIntyre figure solid Rey Mysterio it is just a repaint but you know how that is the Roman Reigns I think what hurts that Roman Reigns is that it's not updated right it doesn't have the gold gauntlet it has the vest still, you know, some of those different things. So that may be why that Roman Reigns, that Roman Reigns is flooding the pegs. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, when the new one releases, that they don't just stack up on top of each other. It looks like that's probably going to be the case. But uh, I think a new Roman would fly off shelves. This Roman right here, the one that I'm referring to, is a re-release of the Elite 84, I think. It just rots on pegs. Like, every time I see it, it's there's like three or four of them. On top of that, Drew McIntyre has a ton of figures out right now. The Elite 83 rots on pegs. The top Picks wave, rots on pegs. If you guys watched our video from yesterday, somebody stole the WWE Championship out of it. Didn't even want the Drew McIntyre, so that tells you something right there. Low life piece of trash. But the Rey Mysterio figure, you know, people love Rey Mysterio, but that figure is everywhere. Every target I go into, you can find that Rey Mysterio warming the pegs. And last but not least, the John Cena in the set is the best figure in the set. I actually need a ton of that figure, but I don't feel like, since it's a top picks figure, I'm not going to pay $23, $24 every single time I see it at retail just for that shirt and, and hat and figure combo, even though I probably should just go ahead and grab it because, you know, it's got energy. Like, I could fix up the figure. It's a good base, but I'm waiting until, you know, uh, somebody has a surplus of those on eBay and they drop them to $12 a piece or $15 a piece and I'll just rack up like 8 or 9 or 10 of them and just continue to do that until hopefully that figure will drop in price and I can get a lot of those Word Life hats and the combos and stuff like that, especially if I'm going for all looks of scene. I'm going to need a lot of that base of that figure, but man, that that wave right there rots on pegs. On top of that wave, you have the Elite 84 and 85 series. I feel like I see these everywhere. Elite 84 Rhea Ripley. Elite 84 Roman Reigns. Elite 84 Angel Garza. Elite 84. I feel like the Sheamus figure is never there. It just, I guess, because that it's been a minute since we got Sheamus, and that Sheamus slaps all the titties. So that's probably why that figure is not available a lot of places that I go. But Elite 84 is one that rots on shelves. Another 
other one is Elite Series 85. I feel like 85, especially a specific couple, I think the Becky Lynch rots, which is pretty insane because it's a really good figure, but the Bray Wyatt from that series just rots on shelves. I, I had a friend who was in Florida that went and checked for me at a store, and that figure, there was like 12 Bray Wyatt's. And it's such a damn shame because that figure is so good. It's double jointed arms. It's got a great shirt sweater mold with the long sleeves, double jointed arms. It's got a great new pants mold. It's got the great, beautiful man bun head skull for Bray Wyatt. And I guess it's probably because he was released or maybe it's because it's not the most accurate figure. Had that figure had khaki pants on and not those ugly orange shaggy looking ass pants on, it would have been a figure that flew off shelves. It actually would have crushed the ringside exclusive. It's way better than the ringside exclusive anyway. If the ringside exclusive had that body mold but with khaki pants and a sculpted belt figure would fly out of ringside it'd be a really hard figure to get your hands on i think but since they went with that short stubby long pants legs and the weird formula and like it looks like he's wearing a freaking under armor t-shirt it's just i don't know man but that's besides the point but on top of elite 84 85 and the top talents figures i feel like there's a ton of basics it's like that basic wave with otis and tucker or the viking raiders and those rot on shelves as well you also have uh, Ultimate Edition John Cena and Rock I feel like you can find pretty easily right now and uh, that's pretty good for people that are looking for the Ultimate Edition. Some people aren't finding those but every single Target that I go into it's like two, it's like four or five of the Cena or it's four or five of the Rock and it's rarely ever both. It's I've seen that maybe once but usually it's one or the other. You'll have like a couple Legends figures maybe like one or two of the Junkyard Dog and then finally the Epitome, the figure that literally is the, is the new Hollywood of Fame Tito Santana. It is the Elite WrestleMania China figure. This is the peg warmer of the year, I think. I think that it beats every other figure. Every single store that I've seen that has carried that wave, which is mainly Target, I don't think I've seen a Walmart carry it just yet. Maybe a couple, but just just let it be known, if, if a Walmart has that wave, the China is there. That China, and it's never one. It's never one China. It's three, four, five Chinas, and they're always just rotting there. And it's a damn shame because it's actually I'm looking at the figure right now. It's a damn good figure. Damn good head sculpt. Great looking figure from the neck down as well. Cool boot mold. All these great things. Double jointed knees. Really good looking figure. Shell forming everywhere. It also comes with the women's championship. So I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about it, but that figure just rots on, on shelves. And every single target that I go to has the exact it has the exact lineup. Like I can go in there and I know exactly what they're gonna have. 100 top picks, couple elite 84, 85, those basics. Possibly an Ultimate Edition. Not guaranteed, though. Not guaranteed a Legends figure, either. That's if you're lucky, you'll get the Legends in the Ultimate Edition. And then, sure enough, Brad, there is the China WrestleMania Elite figure. And I don't understand. I don't know if it's because these figures aren't, like, like they're not wanted, I guess. But, I mean, that's obviously the case, because everywhere I go, it has the same stock. And it's not ever, like, one of the John Cena or one of the Drew or one of the Ray. There's, like, three or four of each character. And I don't know what to think about it, you know? I, I really don't know what to think about it. I will just say this just popped in my head randomly when that hall of champion not when that target exclusive ultimate edition batista comes out oh god in heaven i hope that one rots on shelves like the rest of these figures have been rotting on shelves and i don't know if this will change through the christmas season i guess we'll just have to you know wait and see and wait and just play the waiting game and see if we find something out but my god man let me know if you have the same experience because i swear to jesus i i put it on twitter and it seemed like a lot of people agreed with me that that was the case but it's just crazy that target has the same lineup of figures over and over and over again i can't understand it i don't know i like i feel like these figures are pretty good i feel like they're pretty good like some of them are a bit outdated here and there but for the most part the figures are good they're just not selling and then you go to walmart and it's the opposite there's a bunch of stuff on the shelves but it's all basics and it's six million battle packs six million battle packs i've seen it so many times those championship showdown packs flooding the shelves i hope to god that christmas wipes them out or they drop them to clearance at five ten bucks a piece and they just fly out of there man because i am sick of seeing them i know you guys are sick of seeing them too we need more aew on our shelves we need more wwe elite figures you know more modern elite figures i'd like to see some elite 86 through elite 89 up on the shelves soon and i think there's just a bunch of shipping delays right now which is why ringside hasn't got the new Elite Wave, and they still haven't gotten Unmatched Series 2 for Jazzwares, so I guess we're just playing the waiting game there, man, but I, I swear I'm not I'm not tripping. I know for a fact that every target I go into has about the same lineup, and I want to know if you guys 
can let me know if you feel the same way or do you feel like yours is pretty good turnover. I feel like AEW figures will pop in like every few weeks or so. I know some people haven't found any ever, which is insane to me, but my area is pretty good about getting AEW figures. You just gotta be there on the day they stock them or they're gone, Brad. Like those Series 7 that we found, not the most exciting way, but I guarantee they're gone next time I go to that Target. And I don't go to that Target a lot, so I probably won't see those next time. It's weird because I haven't been to that Target that we went to since Elite Series like 33 with like Blue Tista and like Elite 37. I want to say like I found a Blue Tista, Elite 37 Miz, and John Cena. It was a, it was a pretty sick day. I mean, now we're 60 series later. It's insane, man. But that's what I wanted to cover in today's video. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below if you feel the same or whatever the case is, man. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts on this rant and what you think of that down in the comment section below, man. But I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel. Again, like I just said, and I just crossed the line for saying it twice. You crossed the line.